My name's Dr Helen Fraser and I'm a Senior Lecturer in Astronomy at the Open University. Um, what does that mean? Um, that means I have an academic job where I do some teaching, some research um, and a little bit of administration, although it feels like a lot. Um, and really my research area is astrochemistry. So that's the study of how stars form, how planets form and whether or not there's life in the universe. And I do that three ways really. I go to telescopes and observe in space, or at least my students and postdocs do. Um, we work in the laboratory on experiments like this one just beside me here, um, where we try and recreate the temperature and pressure conditions in space and then study how the chemistry happens in those environments. Um, we also go on to these parabolic flights, the vomit comets, to study how things stick together and start building planets. And then we do uh, theoretical work, so we do work at computers and computer simulations to try and understand and tie everything together. I, I'm at the very pinnacle, the very small edge of that question, you know, where do we come from and what are we made of? I was actually the first person in my family at all to go, ever, to go to university. There were girls at school who were much better than me at, at physics and maths. But when I got to university, I actually discovered I was pretty good at these things too, you know, I, I'd been in a school with quite a lot of smart people, but actually when I got in the real world, I was still pretty smart. But as I went sort of through my school and then university, I kept swaying in different directions and it was only actually after my PhD, so it's many years later again, like nearly 10 years later, that I really moved back into astronomy. So it was quite a a waving journey, it wasn't just a straight career plan or path in any way. Whether or not we take human exploration to the moon, to asteroids, to Mars, which is the ambitions of people like NASA, um, it's pretty exciting and pretty interesting because it might not be us as individuals doing it, but it might be us as scientists driving forward how the policy makers and the decisions are being made. And I think that's going to be a big thing overall and those environments for doing science and science research. Pretty, pretty amazing.